love back with Pat's Two Cents. Now, we're going to skip down to 19, James 1, verses 19 and 20. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear and slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. You ever get on the road and somebody gets you, you know, they get up under your skin, a little too far up under your skin, and you get a little hot behind the collar, and there's a little string back there that pop that somebody pulls. Somebody back there pulls a string, and your mouth flies open, and you let them have it. Every word, every, woo, you let them have it. And before you know it, you are ready to jump into their throat and do them in. Because you let, you woke up a sleeping giant. And then you took the chain off when you opened your mouth. And that monster is ready to destroy, seek, and destroy, seek. And destroy. I'll kill you. I hate you. Go to hell. I mean, before you know it, you are a mouthpiece for the devil himself. Cursing people. Blaspheming God. All because somebody just got on your nerves for a second. Do you want to live the rest of your life acting like that? Do you really think that glorifies God? Do you really think that makes other people want to be what you say you are? A born again Christian? What would they want from that? Be slow to speak. Slow to wrath. You know what that's called? That's a reversal of saying self-control. Self-control just wraps it up in a neat little package. When you want to fly off at the mouth, shut it. Listen. Be long to listen. Because there are times if you shut your mouth long enough, you'll get the explanation you're looking for, which will give you understanding, which will calm your nerves because you realize you will... You heard something else that they weren't even saying. You you perceived something else that they didn't even try to do to you. You need to shut up so you can listen and gain understanding. Gain insight. That's if you really want to grow in grace, in holiness in righteousness, if you really want to mature, if you really want to grow up in the Lord, in the things of the Lord. You know, you can act like a child all your life. They say there's no worse fool than a than an old fool, let alone an educated fool on top of that. See, a fool has nothing to do with knowledge. A fool has to do with character or the lack thereof. Okay, I'm not trying to beat anybody up. It's just that we don't realize how we can get so out of control. We don't realize how we can, you know, some people black out. They literally have blackouts. And I ain't talking about the lights. I'm not talking about the power outage. Power from God, but not Edison. They black out because they yield to the anger, then they yield to their temperament, then they yield to their understanding of what's going on, even though they may totally misconstrue what's going on, and before they know it, they are ready to leapfrog down into somebody's throat and take them out. And people have gone into blind rages doing that. Talking about, I didn't know, I didn't know I grabbed the knife and stabbed them. I didn't know I choked them to death. I didn't know I beat their head in with the baseball bat. I don't remember doing that. Why? Because they blacked out. 
because they gave place to the devil. They yielded to that wrath. And that wrath is deadly. You just don't know it. Watch the news. Don't think you got all that control. Because Satan knows what button to push. And everybody around you be dropping dead at your hand. If you're not careful. All of us have that button. If we're not careful.